Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday here, 21 August. It's slapped in the face a little bit by this market. First couple of days here, kind of trading in circles. Monday we had pretty strong conviction longs on Euro Yen, Euro Dollar. Euro dollar went down to 110.60. Euro yen went all the way back to 117.58. But we're basically right where we started. Um, a lot of this has been driven by boons, which, as we all know, traded all the way down to 177.80, all the way back up to 179.17. Here we are, 178.70. Going to have a little bit of a gap open lower today in a pretty meaningless zone here. Now we're completely mid-range. Don't know what to do with the boons. Just watching. My friends in the fixed income world are very concerned about some risk above the highs there into 180. Um, these guys know fixed income much better than I do. So I share that worry based on their worry. Uh, but anyway, we're just watching this for signals uh, and waiting for this to turn because none of this makes any sense to us. Uh, but we don't have a dog in the fight right now. Uh, and unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to trade this on news. The last piece of news which allowed Boons to turn from their highs, 179.10, was this uh, news from Merkel about practical solutions on the backstop in Ireland. Uh, so this turned cable, turned uh, boons lower. Let's have a look at this cable chart. Uh, we've been trying to build into cable longs all week. We got stuffed down as prices went down to 120.72. Here we are. Um, this is going to end up looking like an inverted head and shoulders to a lot of people whatever you want to call it. There's some pretty strong offers in that 75-80 area. Um, but I think once we clear that, this thing can go a fair bit higher. How to trade this now? Um, I think you just need to accumulate sterling. It's 53.4 now. Um, in this zone. So between 50 and, and uh, 20, the low yesterday after the high was 18, I believe. Let's have a look at that. The low after the high was, sorry, here's the low after the high was 14. Um, so light accumulation, I think, between 50 and 10 just because there's a change of tone here in sterling and the market is very very short how do you know the market is short because that news wasn't you know there was no concrete nothing concrete in that news um, and yet cable flew and we are holding here sort of 60 points higher from when from where the news came out news came out it was figure one um, Anyone who's short is going to have a stop above this 80 area. And then the long-term guys are going to be stopping um, at 122.10. And this will also be a region where some of the momentum traders are going to get involved at 122.10. So we're back into the core long cable. Uh, we're trying to buy low ones this morning and selectively add through 80 through 10 on the top side. Sterling Yen is the same chart. In this sense, you could add through 65. Yesterday's high was 63. The high on the 16th was 57. Um, these highs over here is 56 on the 7th. And then 130.10 is sort of the clear air point. Sterling Swiss Twisted Sister. We talked about that last week. Going into 
Going into Monday, same chart. It's sort of all the same trade here. 119.50 is going to be the big, the big mofo point. Yesterday fucked a lot of people up, right? Sterling Swiss went down to 118.20. Cable went down to 120.70. Sterling Yen went down to some silly, silly place as well. 128.39. This will fuck up any uh, what we call week longs, which we fell into that category. Uh, and it just cleans out the short term positioning. So top side is a little bit cleaner today. Anyway, that's sterling for you. Again, news driven, kind of murky news, uh, no pun intended, from Merkel. But um, news that's changed the tone of the conversation going into G7 this weekend. What else is out there? Let's look at this Aussie. 95 highs yesterday of, are of interest. Uh, we think if you clear 95, this will then yield this 98.20 level. How or why this is going to happen, we don't know. Calendar super light today uh, in the morning. We really have nothing in the morning. We have Canadian CPI this afternoon, U.S. home sales. And then FOMC minutes tonight. The minutes could do it. Um, I guess you could say there's a pretty decent chance the minutes were marginally um, dovish. But I feel like the minutes are going to be less important with Jackson Hole lingering on Friday. So where are we going to get the vol for this? I don't know. You see this pennant here. Um, kind of bookends. Aussie. But through 95, this becomes interesting and important. And then obviously through 20, it, it becomes a real, a real trade. Euro, same chart. This is the four hourly. Um, this becomes interesting through 15 for us. There will be stops up at 60, which was the breakdown area. Um, could argue that there was a double bottom down there at 66 yesterday. This is also going to be a neckline up here at 15. Um, it's basically the same trade as Aussie with a different vehicle, same type of setup. So keep your eyes on these levels, 111, 14, 15 is kind of the key for us. Has dollar EM turned also? I don't know. Uh, we have not participated in this, which is kind of criminal because this is some, there's been some very good vol in dollar EM. Fourteen fifty, I mean fifteen fifty, the high up there, trading back back down to thirty four. We really need to get below uh, fifteen oh nine to say this has turned. Um, but these like every currency uh, trade this week is going to be driven and dictated uh, by Friday's speech from uh, Jay Powell so let's not let's not get too too carried away here dollar CAD I'll just mention we traded up to this 45 level yesterday it's like kind of the third visit up there didn't seem to like it up there too much um, this will be a key topside point if CPI comes in weak today. Um, and if it comes in strong, you're right back into the range in dollar cat. So that's sort of a binary event that a lot of people are going to be watching. Uh, dollar cat later today. Finally, Spoos. We didn't get paid up at 38. This thing turned at 32. No dog in this fight, really. We're marginally bearish. We still think we'll probably get a move above 50. I have a feeling Powell will will give us that that dovish slant um, on Friday. Uh, right now, we're just in the middle of nowhere, nothing to do. Uh, we like left-hand side on this global slowdown, on this... Uh, sort of upcoming fixed income Armageddon uh, which we feel has to happen sometime in the next couple of months could happen tomorrow could happen in 90 days but we like the, the fixed income sell-off 
to reignite uh, downside in uh, the S&P markets as well. But that's not for today. Today, uh, we're just looking at these Euro charts, we're looking at the Aussie charts, and we're looking at the cable charts. We're just going to duck and dive, um, try and steal a little bit of cash, keeping things light, uh, and trying to keep our balance for the big, big trading day that's going to be Friday. Minutes tonight. You can check Twitter to uh, see how we're feeling about the minutes this evening. Uh, and other than that, just wish you guys good luck, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow.